Session 78, The History of Computers. Computers and technology play a huge part in 21st century life, from GPS systems to smartphones, from ATMs to laptop computers. It is difficult to conceive any aspect of our life that does not require or involve technology in some way. It is interesting to consider how this all began. It is difficult to pinpoint how exactly the term computer first came into use, though one of the earliest uses was to describe a person who performed calculations. First recorded in the 17th century, this definition stayed in use for about 200 years. With the conceptualization of the difference engine in 1822 by Charles Babbage, this definition was shifted to describe a machine that was capable of computing several sets of numbers and making hard copies of the results. Unfortunately, because of funding issues, Charles Babbage was unable to see the full development of his concept in his lifetime. However, in 1910, Henry Babbage, his son, was able to complete a portion of this machine and was able to perform basic calculations. In 1936, Alan Turing proposed the Turing machine which became the foundation for theories about computing and computers. Turing was an all-rounder, a British mathematician, logician, cryptanalyst, philosopher, computer scientist, mathematical biologist, and ma marathon and ultra-distance runner. Without the formalisation of his concepts of algorithm and computation, we wouldn't have the computers we use today. He is widely considered to be the father of theatrical computer science and artificial intelligence. His contributions extend further to his work as a cryptanalyst for the government code and cipher school at Bletchley Park during World War II. Having devised a number of techniques for breaking ciphers and played a key part in the success of Enigma machine in cracking coded messages, as a result, the Allies were able to defeat the Nazis in many crucial battles. Prime Minister Winston Churchill stated that Alan Turing had made the single biggest contribution to Allied victory in the war against Nazi Germany. The American company, International Business Machines Corporation, IBM, announced in 1953 the first computer for mass production, the 701, although it wasn't until 1981 that IBM released the first personal computer, codenamed the Acorn and processing a mere 8088 processor and 16 kilobytes of memory. In the meantime, many other companies were designing and releasing personal computers. Compaq in March 1983. Compaq released the first computer and the first 100% IBM compatible computer, the Compact Portable. Dell. In 1985, Dell introduced the first computer, the Turbo PC. Hewlett-Packard. In 1966, Hewlett-Packard released its first general computer, the HP 2115. NEC. In 1958, NEC builds its first computer, the NEAC 1101. Toshiba. In 1954, Toshiba introduces the first computer, the TAC Digital Computer. In 1976, Steve Wozniak designed what is now known as the Apple I. Steve Jobs convinced him to try to sell the computer, but it was not until 1977 that Apple truly hit the market. The design of Apple II, which introduced colour graphics and pre-assembled availability, saw the sale of Apple computers increase dramatically. However, by the 1990s, the computer market was saturated by personal computers, most of which utilise Windows 3.0, which was able to run on almost every personal computer. Apple computers were not compatible with Windows 3.0 and started to see a steady decline in sales. With the DOS system being produced by so many PCs, software developers like Microsoft were able to capitalise on a growing market. The next decade saw a rocky road for Apple. Despite the introduction of the Power Mac in 1994, the company was finding it difficult to keep up with Bill Gates's Windows 95. In 1997, Microsoft and Apple established a five-year patent cross-licence that seemed to serve Microsoft better than it did Apple. 
Nevertheless, Apple were able to stay in the market and years later produce many machines that are very competitive in the current market, such as iPods and iPhones.